here's what I made in my first two deliveries of Postmates. Okay, what's up everybody? First official day of the challenge. I am extremely nervous because like, I've never did Postmates by myself. I've always rolled with somebody and then did Postmates or helped them with Postmates. But doing it by myself for the first time, this is gonna be a trip. So I'm probably gonna cut back to when I get my first order. I'm just gonna be driving around for then. And uh, yeah, let's see if it's gonna take too long get my first order one eternity later all right what's good y'all so i just got back from doing my two postmates deliveries and let me tell you something if you ever want to do this, it is not as easy as they say it is. All right, so especially if you live in Chicago. So around my area, it's like literally like barely any traffic at all. Like you ain't going to get no type of orders unless it's probably some late at night. I mean, I literally... I just drove around my area for like maybe 15 minutes. I, I'm gonna say that. And then I had went to Hyde Park. That's when I started getting them deliveries. And them deliveries in Hyde Park. Let me tell you something. Them things are the most difficult thing you have. I mean, first order, my first order, I was going to Chipotle. I was nowhere near the Chipotle yet. And then I got the order. I'm like, boom, boom. I kept clicking on it, kept clicking on it. Boom, I finally got it. Then I drove to the Chipotle. But being Hyde Park, it's a whole bunch of traffic right in front of the Chipotle. I mean, it's a big dumb truck double parked right out front of it. Then there's people trying to move around it. Then there's people on the other side of the street. And then people on the other side of the street, they was trying to swerve into the other lane. I don't even know why, but they was doing it. And then when I finally find parking, what, it's almost two blocks away. I get up there, make sure I get the right order. Boom, got the right order, marked it. Then I, when I was trying to mark the order as picked up, I couldn't even mark it as picked up. It was tweaking, like I was, I was tapping it, I'm tapping it. Then I ain't know you have to swipe up and say how much stuff you was picking up. And then I did that. And boom, ran back to my car and said, ex, ex, they were expecting me in, uh, what was that, six minutes. But then the way the person ordered it, like I ain't know it was like a small storefront. And then it was like a big, big, dumb line. Everybody trying to get parking spots. Boom, I get a parking spot. A little plaza area and I mean all the spots was full I, I got lucky it was somebody pulling out at the end and then folks it's crazy postmates why are you so difficult so first delivery I had parked in the little plaza I walked up the street and he said, are, are you Xavier? and then I was like yeah and I was like, sorry, it's, it was no parking. He was like, oh, don't worry about it. Then boom, gave him the food. Boom, dip up out of there. Walking back to my car, I got the second delivery. And this one is the most bogus thing I've ever had to do while driving this car. All right. So it was like for a little cafe. So I was like, all right, cafe is right up the street. I'm dumb. I should have walked to the cafe and then turned around. My stupid self. Here's what I did. I drove, you know, I did the normal, I was on the right, right street. Then when it got to getting closer to the cafe, there was no sign saying that the street was a one-way street. And I saw cars facing the other way. So I'm like, all right, yeah, I can go down the street. I go down the street. It's only cars coming this way. 
I instantly just started tweaking. Like, I ain't, like, uh, I was like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, I'm gonna hit somebody, I'm gonna hit somebody. Then, after I finished driving, illegally, I finally got back on the right street. Then, I had to double park again by another fire hydrant because there are basically no parking spots at all in Hyde Park. But, oh, the drop-offs, the drop-offs. Oh, my God. The drop-offs is probably one of the hardest parts. The, like I said, it's no parking. Second order, I had to loop up another street, then park next to another street in a loading area, and then I had to put the hazards on, but it was too bright. So, luckily, there was no cops around, so I ain't getting no ticket. But then, I walked back up the street, she called me, she's like, Hi, uh, I didn't see any car. Uh, where are you at? And I said, I'm walking up the street, and I said, is that you at the door? She's like, yeah, okay, I'm, I'm coming to meet you now. I'm coming to meet you now, all right? Then I, and then I just hung up the phone and gave the food, and I turned off the app. So, here's what I made in my first two deliveries of Postmates. And I don't know what I'm finna do with this, but I'm gonna have to figure something out, or I'm gonna have to do some some other other thing. <sighs> Here it goes. Six dollars and six cents. Now this is before tip. I don't know if the people gave me a tip or not, like uh, a dollar or two. If I really wanted to cash out everything right now, I'd have to pay 50 cent. And that would bring me down to five dollars and some change. But I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to wait until Sunday. Yeah, 2.15 on Sunday. And I should have all the money in if I even received a tip. So. Uh, uh, I don't know what's going on with them. But, I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I do more Postmates videos, but have somebody else helping me with them? Or should I just try and find something else? I'm probably going to end up doing something else. Because this Postmates stuff, this, this ain't it, Chief. It's, it's not it, Chief. It's not it.